Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. So today we are going to do something a bit different. Something that I've been doing off the camera. One of my hobbies that I've been doing off the camera every weekend. So I'm just going to show you how to do it. It's baking. Of course, I love to bake. That has been my hobby ever since, like, what, April of 2021? 2022, sorry. 2022, yeah. So, today we are going to be baking sprinkle cake, confetti cake, for no specific reason. It's no one's birthday, I'm just doing it just because I can. Anyways, let's get started, shall we? We only have, like, two hours for me to do this. Read up. Oven to 350, so I'm just gonna show you what I got right here. That will be so bake start. That's how you preheat a bloody oven. So you guys right here. So that's this what is my kitchen right here. This is my kitchen area. So this might be a two-part thing. I'm gonna do like two parts of this. Yeah. So. All right. All right. The first thing is the flour, the sugar, and the baking powder, and the vanilla. I don't think we're going to do, I think we're just going to do one bowl. Yeah, we'll just do my big bowl. Okay. So, this will be our bowl right here. We're going to start off with the meat. Oh, well, Mom, we're going to need a refill of flour. Yeah, right now. I need two cups and one over, two over three, so that's not right. Just to let you know, this is mom, the assistant helper. Mom, the assistant helper. But I get all the credit. She's just here if I need to. Look here. Oh Look here. Who bought this huge bag? It's you. Yeah. Yeah, we we ordered this huge bag of flour uh, from one of our videos here. I'm just going to let you guys watch our video. No. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Thanks for the flour. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we can leave whatever. Thanks. We are going to grab, we're going to try to do it as less mess as we can and avoid doing messing, uh, messing up the kitchen because we don't want to drive a big mess everywhere. Kind of ridiculous. I'm not going to do that. But we will try and avoid mess. So, um, we're going to start with the one. Two cups of flour, check, and we're going to need number three, I just got to find it. Alright, and then you're going to need half two of these. You want to use a knife just to get the extra flour off the edge of the thing, so you want to just not do that. There you go. The flour is in the bowl. 
Now what we're going to do is, while we're not separating it into extra bowls, you're going to need a more so now for our next ingredient that it should be. So sugar is always the one where it gets, where it gets messy. So. Guys, if you're gonna bake, don't mess up the kitchen like I do. Then one cup of flour, I mean, no, not sugar. sugar, one cup of sugar. One cup of sugar, and we need tables, a tablespoon of baking powder. Okay. Then you're going to grab your baking powder, and you're going to you're gonna go into your drawer and you're gonna go to the tablespoon. You are gonna use open the can open the, the one of baking powder up. You're gonna fill up the thing to the brim with baking powder. Make sure it's easy. baking powder. Next you are going to want to just quickly quickly just beat the the shit out of the the dry ingredients just real, real quick. And what you're going to want to do is close up the baking powder and what you're going to want to do next is you're going to want to uh, Grab your vanilla. In my case, I have this massive bottle of vanilla right here, and I am probably gonna. What I'm gonna do? What I like to do personally, I I'm not. I don't have to stay hands with the vanilla. So what I like to do is I like to grab a measuring cup or some sort of thing to hold it in, and I use that for a whole bunch of techniques. So that's what I'm gonna do. So, if you'd like, use a measuring cup, because that's the one that I go to. You're going to need one, holy crap, one tablespoon of vanilla extract? One tablespoon, I no, don't get that much. That's a lot, you guys. For vanilla, yeah. vanilla extract. Oh. Crap, that's a lot of vanilla. <laughs> All right. And then what you're gonna want to do after that is you're gonna <sighs> so much stock. Uh, two pinches of salt. So literally a pinch is like like two pinches is like. It's like literally that. That's a pinch. Mom, how much is a pinch of salt? have gone a little bit overboard. I did like a little bit more than that. Maybe like four to five inches. It doesn't matter. Um, Alright, then you're going to want to beat that real quick. Just beat it. Just beat it. 
You don't have to use a mixer because it gets everywhere. If you just use the dry ingredients, I can do that from experience. But, uh, I'm, I do have some hospitality things. I'm not a great cook, but I'm an amazing baker. Uh, okay, and then once that's done, you want to make sure you put away the vanilla. Because if you spill that vanilla, it is going to be a big mess. I don't like messes here. So what you're going to do next is you are going to, in like a couple seconds, I'm going to go move to our next... The next part of this. Uh, and then you're going to want to go and you're going to want to grab your eggs. You're going to want to grab your eggs. You're going to need three eggs. And I'm just going to stop this.